Okay, everybody, welcome back to AGA. Today we're talking about the trusty old boggle. boggle. Now, you may or may not have played this game a lot. Likely, if you've clicked on this video, you've, you've played it and you like it, and so you're like, well, what could be better than yeah. Boggle? Well, to be totally honest, I didn't like Boggle, or years ago when, when my wife's family wanted to play it, I hadn't played it before, and and they were like... And never never would have been a game I, I grabbed myself either. No, so. no, and my wife's family was like, let's play Boggle. I was like, Boggle? Yeah. <laughs> like a game from a million years ago. I don't want to play that game. <laughs> And then we played it and I loved it. So obviously the idea with Boggle is you have all these dice in this kind of little cage, you shake it up, it, um, there's random letters on each side and then you have three minutes to come up with as many words as you can in it, yep. right? And so uh, really a thinking game, but very it simple, is. fun, low key, uh, awesome game. I it love, is. love, love this game. I love but it too, yeah. there are games, I would say these three games we like a little bit more or the a same. A little bit more as much, yeah. um, at least, uh, as Boggle. And so let's get into them. You tell them, you start. Which one do you okay. want to start with? Um, I want to start with Bananagrams. That's a good one. Yeah, I, I, I really like Bananagrams. It's such a such a simple game. Man, it's like the most simple game. Oh, they're really all simple is. on this yeah, list, Yeah, all of these are. Um, but Bananagrams, it, it's a lot of fun. There's just, they're a little, little tile with literally just a letter on them. Yep. Um, and there's like just, 200 of them or yeah, something like that. Yeah, you just bag. flip them all over so you can't see the letter, mix them all up, and then you grab a certain amount. Yeah, you have like 20 each. Yeah. And then on go, you flip them over. You flip them over and you try to connect them all. Kind of like in a crossword puzzle yeah. type thing where you have to you have to make a web of words. Kind of like a like Scrabble, but only it's your own yeah, duh, it's your own you Scrabble uh, board in front of you that yeah. you're creating. So you're literally just, you have your 20 tiles and you're like, oh, um, I'm gonna create watermelon. Oh man, I have enough letters for watermelon. And then mm -hmm. you do one vertically. That was that was horizontal and you do one vertically. And then you, you have to just do offshoots of that in Until your own way. Until they're all connected to each other, making real words. And as soon as all, all 20 tile are connected to a word, um, whoever does it says peel. And that means mm -hmm. everybody, even the person who connected them all, everyone grabs another tile from the middle, which there's another hundred there, let's say. Yeah. And then now you flip it over, and now that letter has to be worked into your web, and sometimes you have to completely restructure to get it to work in. And then as soon as somebody works that letter in, peel. And you keep peeling, yep. peeling, 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 peeling. And so peeling. if someone's getting the right letters, putting it into their words, they just keep peeling, and then you, who haven't even gotten one word yet, has to grab more and, and more. And so now you're working more. with 30 or 40 or whatever, mm -hmm. and now you have to work them all together. Now, which can oftentimes, help, but cannot help at the same time. Yes, exactly. Sometimes you start drowning in letters, yep. <laughs> but sometimes it's like, oh, that's the letter I needed. And then boom, you connect them all together, and, and now you're, you're like, peeling. peel, 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 peel. Yeah. Right. And then so finally, somebody wins, right? Somebody or somebody connects them all together, says peel, and there's no more tiles left, or there aren't enough for each person to grab one. And the person that does that wins. Yep. I would say it takes like five minutes, maybe. To, what is yeah. that? Uh, I guess we don't have it in front of us. It probably five or ten minutes, I not longer than so, that. I would say so. Yeah, definitely and not more. I would say this game, by the way, the same. My wife's family is big into board games, and I am too. But there are certain board games that, for some reason, I'm just like board games. This isn't even a board game. Yeah. <laughs> there are certain tabletop games that I look at and like, nah, I don't like it. Yeah. There's no reason, but I just like, I don't want to play it. Yeah. And this was one of them. Where I was like, I don't want to play that. Me and too. then my wife was like, just play, just play, just play. I was like, fine. Like, you will like it. Just and I went, trust and me. And I swear, we probably paid yeah. 15 <laughs> times without getting up from the table. It's like, that was fun. And yeah. so if you're looking for a, a game that's just as fun as Boggle or more, I would say Banana Grants Banana is probably, Grants. for me, more fun than Boggle. Absolutely. Uh, but you're doing virtually the same thing, right? Okay, so let's go to the second one. I'm going to say the second one, and that is Quiddler. Now, Quiddler, I know this one Dan hasn't played as much. I haven't. A couple um, times, but not more. Uh, but I like a lot. So it's a card-based game, and it's virtually the same thing as... Uh, it's like basically Scrabble and cards, almost, um, to some extent. So you have you start with three, and I think you go up to ten. Kind of like uh, Five Crowns or um, Phase Ten is similar. So the first round, you have three cards, and you have to create a word. And basically, there's a, there's a discard and a draw pile in the middle. And you have each one has a letter on it with a, a number amount. And so let's say I have F, C, F, and N. I'm like, oh, there's a U. So I can switch out for a U, and that's F, U, N. I can put it down, and that ends the round. Everyone has one more turn. And then whatever the number amount there is, the points I get. And then um, you go all the way up to 10, and whoever has the most points at the end wins. However, you can incorporate some letters. Once you, Let's say you have nine cards there, and you're trying to make words out of it. Um, let's say you can incorporate a, you can't incorporate a letter into your words. 
you those are negative points. So let's say it's a Z or an X, and you're like I can't I can't work it in. You those are negative points for you, and so it puts you behind. And so this game's really fun because it's again another one of those simple games. There's nothing to it. I mean, you're yeah. literally just drawing, replacing, putting one down, trying to make words. Very very simple. However, uh, it can be very challenging because. Uh, there are different bonuses you get. Like if you have the longest word in the round, you get 10 points or something. I think it's 10 points. If you have the most number of words, right? Each, you have to have, I think, three cards in each word. But you could, in essence, make three or four words, right? And so, um, <clears throat> and so that's why it's so great is because it really gets you thinking. It gets you really trying to, okay, well, if that doesn't, word doesn't work, or how could I rearrange these letters to get out right now so that everybody else takes negative points because they don't have words in their hands? And so um, a little bit different than some of these others because it is a card game where you're trying to rearrange and, and you're just drawing from a pile in the middle. But I was shocked at how fun this game was um, and how much I liked it. I didn't, I didn't so, think I traditionally liked card games, or not card games, but word games, and I like this one. Yeah, yeah. And uh, as you know, in the EG videos, we love games that are simple to play, hard to play well. Yep. And that's, that's like our th that's main what this theme. Is. Yeah, that's what we, this is. Nothing is more fun for us, and I think that's for most people, right? Uh, obviously, there's a whole contingent of the um, the board game community that likes really complicated games. I'm yeah. not one of those. I'm just not. I don't like them. Yeah. I don't. The, really, though, the most complicated game that I like is probably Five Tribes, uh -huh. um, which can be can be complicated. Can be complicated when you look at when you're comparing to these types of yeah. games. We're really into board games, but not into complicated board games, and so. Mm -hmm. We like simple board games that are hard to play well, right? Yep. Nothing really as far as the mechanics are concerned are hard, but to get really good at it, it's hard. So anyway, yeah. so that would be the second one. Quiddler's really good. If you're looking for a word game that's just kind of card-based, it's a really tiny box because it's just it a is. deck of cards. Yep. Fantastic game. It's a lot of fun. All right, let's get on to the third one. Third one is... Is this the best one? Uh, in my opinion, yes. This is the best one. I, I love I this I don't know game. if I agree, but I your love this game. So okay, show it to him. It is... Code names. Code names. Oh. I have to say, I mean, this one board game of the year. It doesn't say there. I think it's 2016. I think, yeah, I, I believe so. 15, maybe something like that. And if it's a, if it's different, I'll I'll put it up there. But yeah, code names. One of my favorite. Um, it is. It's more of a team um, party game. Really. Yeah, it's a team party game. And 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 really, what happens in code names? So the theme of it is spies, right? Yeah. Which the theme works and doesn't work. Like you could remove the theme and no one would even care. However, the theme's cool because what you do is you're split into two teams and each one has a kind of a team captain where they're trying to give clues to the rest of their team. And the way they do that is through one word clues. So you put, well, pull, pull these out for me. You, so if I'm the team captain of my team or the, the spy, I guess. The clue giver. Yeah, I'm giving clues to my whole team based on a five by five grid of just random of words. words just like so this. So you put five of these cards out there across and five down, so 25 total cards. And I'm trying to connect because this right here is uh, what we would, would the key that we would work off of. So if I were the red team, I'd be working off of uh, all the red ones. And so these would be, we'd be holding this in front of us and it corresponds exactly with the 25 cards here. And so you'd keep it like this. If he were the other team, he's blue and I'm red, I'm looking at all the red words and those are the ones assigned to me that I have yep. to get a clue across to my team. And if I do, I can connect as many as I want with a one word clue. So if, 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 the, um, if maybe it's fish and red and blue and ocean were all these words, I could say Dr. Seuss or something and Everyone tries to connect all these different things together, but the problem is, is as you can see, up in that left maybe corner. Daniel has purple or whatever assigned to him, and now my my team guesses Dan's word or the blue yep. team word, blue team's word, or even worse than that, there's this black check mark here, mm -hmm. and that is the assassin word. So if my team guesses that, thinking I was trying to get that message across to them, uh, we lose the game automatically, yep, and you they guys win. lost. And so it's so really it's, fun because you're you're trying really to you're is. trying to be creative, you're trying to be thoughtful. Okay, what can I get across to my team to get them to guess the words we need to guess to win the game? Yep. And obviously the first one that's able to do all of them wins. And so there are different strategies you can take. I'm just so gonna do two. Fun. I'm gonna connect two words, or I'm gonna try to connect five words. Yep. Whoever does With it faster word. wins. Yeah. But you only get one word clue, so it's it's really hard to do. It's not like you can do a whole sentence or a whole thing. And so, but that's the reason it's so fun. Again, 
simple to play, very hard to play well, yep. especially for the clue givers. But I would say that's the other reason I like it so much is it's a party game that's really, really low key for everyone participating. Yeah, I mean you don't need you don't need to put much thought into it. It's not a it's not a hard game to understand how to play, um, and it honestly doesn't take that long to play the game. Yeah, what does it recommend? It 15 recommends. Minutes and I yeah. would say it keeps that. I mean, there's really not that much length to it. Maybe twenty, yeah. but not much more longer than that. And only yeah. twenty if there's more people debating what that word, what that clue could yeah. mean, what it could what the clue giver could be talking about, so. But it's fast, uh, that's the other reason I like it is that so many people can play it, it says their, their recommendation is two to eight plus, and that's the cool part, because we've played with 15 probably yeah. in the past. As mm -hmm. long as you can get them around a table, you can have as, the teams as big as you want them to be. It's and true. so it's simple, it's fun, a big party can play it. Uh, the people that are participating, the clue givers have to have a little bit more um, invested in Thought the game, but and, yeah. everybody else can pretty much just, um, to listen yeah. and and participate and then c converse yeah. while the other team's going. I mean, there's really not that much to it. So yeah, it that would be. I would say this is this is definitely a game I like. I don't like it as much as everybody else, and I don't really know why. Honestly, if I were to say my favorite game of all these, it was Bananagrams. I don't know why I like Bananagrams <laughs> more. It's so simple. I Maybe that's like, why. But I do like Bananagrams, but I the, no, nothing beats Code Names. Code, name, code Names is good. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, guys, those are the three games we would say are better than Boggle, or at least as at least, good as Boggle. Yeah. Let us know what you think down below. We'd love to hear what your, your comments are. Uh, if there's other word games that you like more than these or if you're saying no, Boggle's better. Yeah. Uh, we'd love to hear that. We hope that we've also earned your subscription today. Uh, we, we try to make good content for you guys that's relevant. Give us feedback in the comments below about what you think, what you want to see in the future. We'd love to, we'd love to hear it. Like as well. Subscribe. Show Help uh, engage with our channel. Help it grow if you're liking the it content. Just, it warms our hearts. It does. It warms and our hearts. we like hearts to say that do. because it warms our hearts. It does. Guys. <laughs> we will see you next time. Thank you. Thanks, guys.